Che Coy with musical guest Chad Hollister and Rabbi Bob Alper. And now from Alumni Auditorium, here's Tim. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Woo. Nice audience, nice audience tonight. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us here on Late Night Saturday. Uh, right, right before coming out, we just received an update about uh, Congressman Mark Foley. Uh, he's just signed up for a treatment center at a rehabilitation center. I think that's good news. Uh, unfortunately, that treatment center is at Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Yeah. In, uh, in local news, though, many people are still complaining about the size of political signs everywhere, especially this new one that sits atop the Burlington Community Boathouse. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, we have got a... I don't understand what the problem is with that one. Brace yourself, everybody. We have another jam-packed show for you tonight. We have Wild Bill and C.K. Coyne of WOKO. <laughs> We also have musical guests, the Chad Hollister Band, and comedian, funny man, the Rabbi Bob Alper. But first, before we get to all that, it's time to head up to the studio audience once again to see if we can give away some prizes. You folks want to win a prize tonight? All right. Well, once again, we turn to that beautiful lady down on the Church Street Marketplace. Here she is, Lois, the hot dog lady, and the word of the week. If you're a coffee break banter, you'd like to embellish. We've got a feature you're sure gonna relish. It'll brighten your demeanor. Will it make me feel smart? Get your wiener. Come on, let's take a peek. Here's Lois with the word of the week. That word is. You have no idea what the word is? No, I don't. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What's your name? Pam Jean. Pa Pam Jean? Yes. Is that the first name or the whole name? <laughs> Pam's the first name. Jean's the last name. Pam Jean. Two first names then. That's right. That's Thank good. You. Uh, uh, Thank you. Thanks to him. Yeah. Is that Bob Jean? <laughs> you want to hear his name? Sure. Guy Jean. Guy Jean. Or Guy Jean. Guy Jean. It sounds like a French pair of jeans or something. I don't know. All right, well, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play the game. You know how to play the game, right? Yep. All right, you saw the word, but you say you have no idea what the word is, right? Nope. We're going to give you that word again. Don't worry about it. And uh, what you need to do is just define it and use it in a sentence. Are you ready for the word? Yeah. All right, here it comes. Coxcomb. Coxcomb. All right, look right into the camera. You can do this. Tell us what you think the definition of coxcomb is. It's a foolish person. A For instance, someone who stands up and defines silly words on CBS. <laughs> Me! You! I just put it in a word! They're talking about you! I can't, huh? They're talking about you right there, absolutely. All right, so you kind of already used it in a sense, but can you use it in a better sentence than that? <laughs> I came to this show to find a silly word, therefore I'm a coxcomb. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. You know what it's time to do right now? It's time spin we turn the, the Miss Jen Jen, please go ahead and spin that wheel. What's your first name again? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Look at that. I think last week, if you can remember back to last week, um, I think last week's winner was University Mall. So we have a $50 gift certificate to University Mall. It is Vermont's largest. It's coming in right now. No, it's not. It's Vermont's largest enclosed shopping center, and we're wishing you a very hassle, holiday-free holiday. Right? From Thank University Mall, my much. mall. I'm not looking at the cue card right now. I'm looking at gazing upon your beauty. We'll be right back with more Late Night Saturday right after this. Be sure to listen to the big station 98.9 WOKO for highlights from this week's show. Tonight's episode of Late Night Saturday is brought to you by Virginity, the purest teas of all. 
So how many country fans do we have out there in the audience tonight? Well, that's good because we got a great treat. Our first guest are the hosts of the weekday morning roundup on the big station, 98.9 WOKO. Please welcome Wild Bill Sargent and CK Coin. <laughs> How's it going? It's going very well. And yourself? Not bad. The new daddy? Yeah, yeah. Rowan's downstairs. Yeah, and how old? Five and a half months. Let's hear it for him. The new daddy right here. She's all in her jammies now at this point. I mean, it's, it's late at night. At it this is point. late night right here. And, and, and you guys, thank gosh it's a weekend because you guys get up pretty early in the morning for this roundup thing. 2.45. You get up at 2.45? 2 2.45, see? Oi, 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 oi. How, how long have you been doing the roundup together? We've been doing it together for about five years, and CK's been on for what, eight or ten? Ten, ten, ten years. years. Yep. Ten years together, and you have quite the fan base out there. Am I correct, folks, out there, huh? <laughs> We figured it out, and uh, we have about, um, I mean, WOKO has been around for a very long time, and we've been doing very well for a very long time. And we've got about, what is it, 24% of the listening audience? Almost a quarter, yeah. Which is like heads and tails above any other radio station, so we're really proud of that. A lot and of we work, thank too. all of our listeners. It is a lot, it yeah. is a lot of work, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, it's a lot of work. And, uh, and you're joined with, with four other great stations with Hall Communications, too. Yeah, our sister stations are Cool 105 and WJOI, and then our new purchases are uh, The Buzz and WYZN. The Wizard. Yeah. The Wizard The Wizard Rocks. The Wizard of Rocks. Yeah, there you go. That's true. There you go. So what, what's going on? I mean, do, you guys are always so jovial and having so much fun uh, uh, on the air. I got to ask you, do, do you ever fight? See, so can't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like uh, a, it's like a marriage. Yes. I spend more time with, with Bill than I do with my wife. It's true. I probably know more things about Bill than I do about my wife. Yeah, imagine, I mean, this is exactly what we do. We sit in a closet for four hours every morning and talk to ourselves. That's <laughs> basically it. Sitting in a closet. <laughs> okay. We come out of the closet every morning. Yes, okay. <laughs> around 9 o'clock. I knew it was there. <laughs> and, the, and the neat thing is, uh, a few weeks ago, we had what we call the extreme studio makeover. The place got gutted, and we painted it. But now it's just painted and stark, and yeah. we're trying to get like pictures and, and everything like that on the walls. Try to get something done around there is yeah. impossible. Everyone went on vacation, so now we just have a blank studio. Well, well now we're settling in for the cold, and hopefully people will, will go. Ahead, you'll have time to go ahead and do that redecorating. We'll be too busy with school closings. Yeah. Oh, there that's you always have it. fun when we do there 15 minutes of school. Hey, closings. we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got a special uh, phone yeah, interview. Yeah, we want to tell us. you. Uh, we want to give you some advice on how to interview, interview people. Interview, yes. All this right. Being your fourth show and everything. And we'll do that when we come back in just a moment with more Late Night Saturday. We'll be right back. If you're here as a guest on Late Night Saturday, visit our website and let us know about your special talent. We are here with the morning roundup, Wild Bill and CK. Guys, talk to us here. Before break, you said you were going to uh, give me some interview. Well, lessons. this is this is a lot different. You know, I mean, late night TV versus morning radio is a little bit different from you know the interview style. But you know, we have interviewed a bunch of people. Oh, name dropper time. Who have we interviewed? Uh, Garth Brooks. You've interviewed Garth Brooks. Sure. Garth Brooks, Richard Simmons. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo, and as a matter oh. of fact, um, one time uh, we dug back into the Morning Roundup archives because we interviewed Shania Twain, and your name came up, Tim. As a matter of fact, would you guys like to listen to that interview? Because we brought it with us. Let's take a listen. Morning Roundup. We're speaking with Shania Twain on the Big Station, ninety-eight point nine WOKO. Hey, Shania, we understand you met a couple of local guys, Tim Cavanaugh 
and Marcellus Parsons at Ashoa a few years ago. It was so funny. I couldn't resist meeting these guys. Brought them up on stage. You know, no shirts, and they had in big black bold letters, you know, Shania. One guy had the S H A, and the other guy had the N I A. Now we also understand that you ended up dating Tim Cavanaugh. Is this the first time you've ever dated such a hunk of a man? That's right. It's been a long time. So this is my first one. Okay, Shania. What's your favorite part of his body? But no doubt about it. Oh, that's oh, come on. Well, you know, it's not as bad as it sounds. But he's quite fond of your rear end as well, huh? Yes, that's true. Yeah, he likes it. He because he can. Na 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 na. Oh, we can't no, air that. Oh, no. that is disgusting. It's really disgusting. But now we've heard that uh, it's over between you and Tim Cavanaugh. It's just not going anywhere. According to our sources, it's because he basically was like a serial stalker. Did he call you like every hour of the day? I know, millions of times. It'll be okay, Shania. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Shania, if you ever need a date, you give us a call, okay? Thanks, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Bill and C.K. Coin from W.O.K.O. Let's hear it for him one more time. Oh. Tonight's comedian has appeared on Good Morning America, Showtime, the BBC, the Montreal Comedy Festival, and CNN. He's written two books entitled Life Doesn't Get Any Better Than This and A Rabbi Confesses. Please welcome the Rabbi Bob Alper. Thank you. Thank you. I, um, not many comedians can say this, uh, but I've been married 37 years. Uh, my wife and I celebrated our anniversary by taking a trip to Alaska. Uh, a friend of mine's parents did the same thing. He received a postcard from his father reading, Wonderful Cruise, Mother Vomiting Less and Less. <laughs> my wife and I have been blessed with what we call an all-American family. We have a boy, a girl, and a vasectomy, one of each. <laughs> and, and I know you're not supposed to favor one over the other. Uh, but around the time our kids became teenagers, I grew kind of partial to the vasectomy. Uh, I came down to dinner one night. My daughter is wearing black pants, black shirt, black lipstick, black eyeshadow, and black nail polish. Our son had his scruffy little beard and a bandana around his head. I said, how lovely. I'm dining this evening with Morticia and Willie Nelson. <laughs> so my wife's a psychotherapist. She was telling me she was working with a couple on the issue of communication in their marriage. And at a certain point, she said to the wife, now, how do you express, for example, the need when you want to have sex? She said, I say, sweetheart, I'm going upstairs, and I'm going to take a shower. Her husband said, that's what you mean? All these years, I thought you were telling me not to run the dishwasher. <laughs> the, the Bible, we have these kids, the Bible, when our kids were teenagers, the Bible talks about kids that age. According to one of the commentators, the reason Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac at the age of 12 and not 13, uh, it was because at 13, it wouldn't have been a sacrifice. <laughs> so we, uh, we followed Jewish tradition. We named our son after my grandfather. We call him Grandpa. <laughs> and we can see certain patterns follow from generation to generation. For example, when I was a kid, I used to borrow ties from my father. Now my son borrows earrings from his mother. Uh, <laughs> we did get some good news about our son. We found out we were able to arrange a student loan for him. Uh, we loaned him to a family in Iowa. <laughs> I used to compare notes with a friend of mine when my daughter was a teenager. His daughter, Leslie, decided to change her name when she was 14. She announced this by calling the answering machine while visiting a friend out of town and leaving the message, Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Skylark. Don't scoff at my new name. So he called her back. He said, Hello, Skylark. It's your parents, Bucky and Luella. My daughter went to Bard College. Uh, she majored in modern dance. I can remember sitting at graduation a few years ago thinking, let's see, my wife and I spent $120,000 so that our daughter could do this. <laughs> I have a friend whose daughter was an art history major, art history, which means he spent $120,000. She can't even do this. So we don't have any grandchildren. We have a, uh, uh, my niece has a four-year-old. We were at a restaurant. He had to go to the bathroom, so I took him in. He, uh, he went into the stall, and I was out there by the sink. And apparently they had one of those uh, uh, electric toilets with the flashing red light, because at one point I heard him say, you know, these things take your picture. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Bob. Thank you so much. Right? Thank you. Unbelievable. You're a busy guy. Over 100 performances a year. Is that correct? Or more? Yeah. I uh, get around. I do a lot of shows with a Muslim comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of college shows, uh, Muslim comic. Uh, it's kind of an interesting and, duo. You know, people relate to him. Uh, it's a little negative at point at points because sometimes they're angry, they're they're uh, nasty to him, uh, they they resent him, and it's understandable because uh, he, he's a lawyer. <laughs> uh, so he's used to it then. <laughs> and you've got a website too. What's your website? The website is bobalpert.com. I've got CDs on the website. My uh, uh, my books and uh, my performance schedule, BobAlper.com. Bob Alper, so please go, go to that website. And folks, we'll be right back with Chad Hollister with more Late Night Saturday right after this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome back to Late Night Saturday. My musical guest tonight has played with Bob Dylan, Fish, Blues Traveler, and the Violent Femmes. Their latest, that's right, their latest CD, Spirits, is available now. Everyone, please welcome the Chad Hollister Band. Don't want to hear about J-Lo Or where she's been Or the $1,200 bottles of bubbly She's been drowning in So many of them rap yap stars Fighting dollars in the sky 2.2 mil on a damn necklace That's 22 houses that I could buy To think that they could make a difference Instead of pissing it away a curing a disease is taking all my family and my friends away It's all about perspective And this is just mine And if I had all the money in the world I'd take the time to, yeah I walk by the riverside I run for the moonlight I walk by the ocean with my family Kiss my soon to be wife, yes I would Go down to the dollar store And buy a hundred things And take my butts down to KFC And get them to up everything Get rid of Wanna be your millionaire, you see I'd rather find my own wife Who don't care about the kind of car that I drive or living the rich life I don't wanna hear about Paris Hilton Or what Brittany and what's his name did Or that Demi and Ashton was seen together with the Bruce and the kids You put all their money and fame aside And what do you see? Hopefully a life full of love and a little bit of simplicity I don't know how I would handle fame personally But if I had all that money in the world, you see I'd take the time to, yeah I'd walk by the riverside and I'd run for the moonlight I would walk by the ocean with my family and kiss my soon-to-be wife Yes, I would go down to the dollar store And buy a hundred things, babe And take my bugs down to KFC And get them to up everything Yes, I would walk by the riverside Run for the moonlight I walk by the ocean with my family And kiss my soon-to-be wife Yes, I would go down to the dollar store And buy a hundred things Take all my bus down to KFC and get them to a battery thing. Yeah, yeah, get up to a battery thing. Yeah, every day to get up to get up to a battery thing. Get up to us in a hell already. 
awesome. Yes, good job. Good job. Way to go. Oh. The Chad Hollister Band, everybody. Wow. Wow. And uh, they were just telling us that this is their first stop on their East Coast shore is late night Saturday. How great is that? Five albums out. The new CD is called Spirits. It's dedicated to your dad. Is that correct? Yes. Great. And uh, you've got the East Coast tour coming up. And the website is? Chadmusic.com. Chadmusic.com. And we're going to be right back with more Late Night Saturday right after this. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome back to Late Night Saturday. Things are, things are getting crazy here. Chad Hollister is shake, shaking things up over here. That's awesome. Uh, the Money Dollar Roundup. No, no, no. It's What's the, the name of it? $20,000 Lucky Dollar Bill Game. It's going on right now on 98.9 WOKO. Tune in for your chance to win money, money, money. Money, money, money. The big station, WOKO. Th thanks to Wild Bill and CK Coin. Also, big thanks to the Rabbi Bob Alper. And we're going to throw things out right now with Chad Hollister. Remember to support local artists like these folks tonight. We'll see you next time on Late Night Saturday. Good night. <laughs>